Radio. Welcome to another exciting episode of Coffee and Radio. I am Heartthrob Rob, and today we are talking about Snowfall, Season 4, Episode 9, Sleeping Dogs. Uh, the bio reads here, Franklin fights for survival, and Teddy goes to extreme to salvage the operation and career. Pretty good episode here, man. All of Season 4 of uh, Snowfall has been kicking ass, and this episode, the second to last one, is fucking foot to the title, like, we're going, this is crazy. So it starts off with uh, Tanise, I think is the girl's name, you know, the girl that's not working for Franklin, like she's pretending, she's not an ally at all, she's getting him mixed up, you know, to get caught slipping by man boy. So he catches her on the phone, and you know, the guys wanna come and retaliate because they just shot Louis, you know, Jerome wants to kill this guy now. So Franklin is able to talk them out and he's gonna use Tanise to set up man boy. He's going to tell them, hey, we want to make a, um, you know, truce. Let's, let's squash this beef. And meanwhile, you know, when this happens, they're actually going to take them out. But in the meantime, Jerome is not waiting for that. He don't want to hear no plans and nothing. He's like, dude, he's got to kill, try to kill my chick, try to kill me. I'm going to go take him out. But, you know, already, I mean, you got to know that that retaliation is coming. And that's what Franklin's trying to tell Jerome. He's like, they're waiting for you. They did that. And of course they know you're going to come right fucking back, dude. Why am I going to let you go over there? So he's fighting Jerome to tell him to not go. And as Jerome's beating his ass, he's like, why are you doing this? He's like, because when you're from when your wife or, you know, your girlfriend and your sisters ask what I did to try and stop this, I'm going to tell them everything I fucking could. Dude, just crazy, crazy writing here that they do. So the time comes for uh, Franklin and, you know, the Franklin to meet with these guys uh, to under the bridge to work out their truce, right? So, you know, let's say they say, oh, 4 o'clock. Well, at 3.55 or whatever, man boy knocks on Tanisha's door and he's like, I know you fucking lied, da 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 So as he's going to hit her and he's like trying to get to her because he knows she's fucking working both sides, Franklin's already waiting in there. Boom! They shoot man boy. Jerome comes out. Leon comes out. And, you know, man boy dude talks his shit and he lets them know they're all fucking suckers and everything he hates about them. And in the end, Franklin's the one who takes man boy out. So they kill man boy. Uh, and they shoot up his homeboys that were waiting for him in the car. I mean, they lay everybody out. And he tells Tanise that he, she's got to make up some story that, you know, if he tried to, uh, you know, rob her or whatever. And, you know, she had to shoot him and just make up some story for the guys in the front. So it's just crazy that they're able to take them out. As word travels through the city that Manboy has, you know, been killed by Franklin, Kadeja, who is the mom of the baby that was killed, she tells the two... Um, Hitman girls, Dallas and Diamond, I think is their names. He tells, the, you know, she puts up the bounty double again on fucking what we were going to already pay Franklin. So they've doubled it twice now, four times uh, to kill Franklin. Uh, but Franklin, you know, is not going to let this happen either. So he ends up cutting a deal with those girls and tells them, yo, you don't even have to kill me. You don't have to be a killer for me. I just want you on the salary to handle business like that. That way you're not in the jungle just trying to fucking kill and scrape for buy for your meals, you know? He's like, I'll put you on the payroll. So as they set that up, then they fucking get Kadeja to roll, and they catch Kadeja slipping too, and Franklin takes out Kadeja as she's talking shit. Leon is trying to apologize and say he's a sorry, and, you know, she doesn't accept his apology, tell him fuck off, and Jerome shoots her, you know, in front of Leon. Leon's kind of upset about that. You know, it's really aching his soul, everything that's happened this season in regards to that woman's daughter. So they take out Kadeja, they take out Man Boy. And, um, yeah, so uh, uh, wrapping things up with Franklin, um, on Franklin's side of the story. Next, uh, Franklin's at the hospital um, for, I said her name earlier, that was her, Louie. And his mom is there, and the mom is like, you know, he's telling him, like, oh, did you take care of Pops already? And the dad is listening in, and he gets his coat and fucking runs off because he knows Franklin's trying to take care, get rid of his ass, too. Because he ratted about the to the newspaper lady. And as that side of the story goes on, while this is all happening with Franklin and everything, um, <clears throat> Teddy, um, who's, I thought his name was Reed, Teddy, uh, Teddy, um, is talking to, or excuse me, is uh, getting his t story told by that Asian woman. I forget her name. She's the one who works for the newspaper i'm so sorry i forgot her name but um you know she's working on a story you know that the, they already printed about how the cia is funneling drug money to the this war down south you know in south america and she goes on a you know like a little budget you know radio station but enough to make a buzz go on and she tells her story again she says next week i'm gonna fucking tell the full full story you know if they don't let me print it so finally she's at the bar one day getting everything ready and here comes teddy he comes in he goes hey i'll I'll tell you the full story. How about that? You know, and then we'll take these guys down together. So 
She he tells his whole story. She puts it on. He says, "Hey, can I take you home? Do you need anything?" And she's like, "No, it's okay." So he lets her go. You know, he's not being weird. He's just, "Hey, do you need anything or whatever?" He lets her go. On her way home, she gets in a car accident, and she's like waking up. Tardy's fucking choking her out, fucking giving her the gas mask thing, dude, and game over. So he ties up that loose end too. So she gets it. another character dies. What a fucking crazy episode this is. And um, I think I think that was everything. Yeah, I think. Uh, with her getting killed, you know, it kind of ties everything up. You know, we got to see what the dad, what uh, Franklin's dad's going to be doing. But incredible episode here, man. I mean, I think all this season has been fucking top notch. But this episode was easily a 10 out of 10 episode. Like, we're going to look back at this and be like, holy shit, this is a fucking masterpiece of work. But um, let me know what you guys think about it, man. What do you think about Franklin? What do you think about Leon, Jerome? Everybody's had a storyline, this this thing. Uh, man, boy, killed. We still have the other guy who kind of got religious, who was the other bad guy. Um, the one who who got shot in the very beginning of the season, but he's not really dead. Um, and he's kind of been, like, trying to turn a new leaf. He's still here. Uh, we got to see if it's Franklin's dad. But I think the storylines have been absolutely great, man. But let me know what you guys think. We'll talk about it in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you like what you're watching, then hop in the coffin. Follow us on social media at Coffin Radio. Coffin is spelled with a K. And that's all for today. K-S-M-R. Coffin Radio.